Welcome back to Low Carbon Lifestyle. If you listen to me speak here on YouTube, or to be honest, at home, or at work, or literally wherever I go over this last year or so, you will have heard me mention heat pumps. A beautiful, simple, but world-changing technology that's gonna help us really reduce the impact of our heating on our emissions. And leaders in the UK government tend to agree, suggesting that New homes from 2025 will have to be heated by heat pumps rather than gas boilers, whilst alongside that trying to provoke many of us to make the change in homes already built. This week, the government's flagship heat pump investment scheme was launched. So what is the boiler upgrade scheme? What is it trying to achieve? And what input impact could it have? Episode 42, we're getting on Rishi Sunak's bus. My name is Tom and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. So the government wants to help us decarbonize heat and by 2028 it wants to see over 600,000 uh, heat pump systems installed in homes per year, up from about 35,000 in a recent Bayes document in 2020. And that's a really big challenge. What are the government doing about it? Well their flagship scheme to help do this is the boiler upgrade scheme which is basically a £5,000 grant towards the cost of an installation of an air source heat pump and £6,000 towards a ground source heat pump. £5,000 would probably be about a third to a half of the cost of many installation installations. So it could make a heat pump installation cost come down dramatically. It's still not really anywhere near the equivalent cost of a new gas boiler, but we're getting there, which is a good step. But wait a minute, I'm afraid this is probably where my positivity about this scheme ends. Why? Well, the scheme is designed to run for three years and it has 450 million pounds worth of investment associated with it. And please check my maths here, but I think that means that's 30,000 grants per year. What's the context? There are approximately 25 million gas boilers in the UK and around one and a half million installed every year. 30,000 is a rounding error on those numbers. So maybe the hope is that if 30,000 heat pumps are installed each year, this will provoke the industry to develop skills, to reduce costs and to build from there. And yeah, maybe that could be great, but I can't believe the 30,000 grants is going to get us anywhere near changing an industry. Is 30,000 enough uh, guaranteed work to, to encourage a heating engineer to retrain? What risk might there be for small companies investing in retraining, going out to quote and design for systems, but missing out on grants? And if that figure from Bayes that I mentioned earlier, that 35,000 heat pumps that were installed in 2020 is true, then 30,000 will be less than in 2020. Is that really going to grow the industry? And then actually, maybe more importantly, if reducing costs is the goal, do we really want heat pump installations installers to spend less time at a house or to cut corners in design or to buy a cheaper kit? If cost is the driver, then what happens to quality? This scheme is replacing another low carbon heat scheme called the Renewable Heat Incentive, which in many ways is actually quite an interesting scheme that paid you back nearly the whole cost of a system over seven years. It actually wasn't that well utilised, particularly for domestic um, heat pumps, but I think small tweaks to it could have meant that it was used more. And I would, love, I would love to be proved wrong here, but I'm not sure the boiler upgrade scheme is going to be much more attractive than what the RHI was. So how does the bus, how does the boiler upgrade scheme work? Well, the scheme will give grants to contractors who are installing heat pumps. They will apply for the money as part of the, inst the installation process, and they should pass on all the savings to you if you're paying for a heat pump to be installed. So the cost of an installation could be between five and 10,000 pounds after the grant has been applied. And even though this is a bit of a discount from what it, the true cost, spending up to 10,000 pounds is still a huge amount for people to just, just wanting to reduce their emissions. I mean, do many of us really have that kind of money lying around ready to spend? Maybe in a different world, we could make heat pumps fashionable enough that it becomes a status symbol. Hey, spend 10,000 pounds on a heat pump like we might do a new kitchen or a new car, but we're a long way away from that world. And I'm not sure this scheme is gonna get us much closer. To me, it doesn't seem that the, the decarbonisation of heat in homes is really a priority for this government. I would absolutely encourage you to get a heat pump and to utilise the, the grants in the boiler upgrade scheme. But if we were really serious about all this, 
We might have a, a grant like the Irish government, a whole house retrofit grant where they're offering up to 25,000 euros to pay half the cost of insulating a home properly. Or maybe a loan scheme like the Scottish government has announced, offering interest-free loans to install low carbon technology. A small number, 30,000, 5,000 5, pound grants isn't really gonna cut it. It isn't gonna drastically reduce emissions. And I think it risks impacting the industry negatively. We need to do much better. So. So what am I proposing? How would I do it? If I was Mr. Sunak, what would I be doing differently? Well, if we need to reduce emissions by 25 million homes in the next, let's be generous, 20 years, I think we need a much more strategic plan to upgrade the quality of our homes, to reduce the heat demand in our homes. And we'll do that by insulating well, as well as, insulate, as, well as installing heat pumps as quickly as possible. Ensuring a cost to install a heat pump is no more than installing a, a gas boiler by a larger grant and then encouraging homes with gas boilers of a certain age to make a plan for change. I'd also be investing in training and reskilling heating engineers. I'd be taking the risk away from small businesses so I'm ensuring that the that, that, that work would be there for them to do all around the country and I'd be looking at redistributing energy levies so that electricity isn't penalised over gas. A small scheme like Rishi Sunak's boiler upgrade scheme is not backing up the government's rhetoric with cash. It's small fry, particularly in comparison to the discount that he's just given drivers this month with the fuel duty cut, costing the treasury around five billion pounds and making it cheaper to emit. Where your money's spent demonstrates where your priorities are. And I think that the government is showing us exactly where theirs are and that reducing emissions is not their priority. 450 million on the boiler upgrade scheme, 5 billion on making it cheaper to emit in vehicles. But let's end with this. How would you um, decarbonise heat in the UK? What are the schemes that you would do if you were in government? How would we make heat pumps more attractive for people all around the country? Please do comment below. Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm documenting my heat pump story and life with a heat pump around this channel. Um, please do watch some of those videos and please do like and subscribe for more.